Pro Advanced Training. I'm your head trainer, Tim Bowen. I'm excited to bring you a series of instructional videos that will show you how to use what I think is the best and most powerful stock trading platform ever devised. And the beauty of it is it's strictly designed by Tim Sykes with his 15 years of trading history for trading and locating the best and most volatile stocks. Now, you can also use it to trade blue chip stocks if you want, but odds are you're here as a day trader. You're looking to trade the most active stocks as well as the most volatile stocks. And this is the first time I've ever seen in my almost 10 years of trading history a one-stop spot for everything you need. You don't need to subscribe to three different uh, scanning packages. You don't need to subscribe to all these websites going back and forth all the time. This is designed to give you the maximum efficiency by giving you all the tools all in one spot. So in today's video, I'm just going to kind of run you through the basic desktop. You've already purchased, you're ready to go, but maybe you don't know where everything is and, and looking to kind of get your desktop set up. So, and then as we proceed, I will get the, the videos will get more and more detailed and more and more advanced as we move into actually locating stocks how to how to then trade them how to how to look at advanced indicators and everything else so but again today i'm just here to kind of give you a basic walkthrough and a brief video that shows you the whole package so when you log in you the basic idea behind stocks of trade is it's set up in a desktop type uh metaphor so you've got a sidebar and then you've got a a main window so and typically what you're going to do is, is, is and, and what I'm looking as a, as a day trader and a swing trader trading volatile penny stocks, I'm going to have my scans running in the sidebar, then I'm going to have a total view window based on, or multiple windows, based on which stocks I'm watching that day or which ones I'm trading, and then I will have a separate pop-out with some custom scans. Now, I will show you how that works. But we'll be getting into scans really more in, in, in a lot of the later videos. So you can see here I've got the uh, top percentage gainers, but I can also add any one of these uh, uh, basic or, or I should say advanced scans based on top percentage gainers, top losers. I mean, if you're the kind of guy that likes to buy uh, beat down stocks, I myself, I'm more of a short seller or a breakout buyer. So I'm looking for stocks that are making uh, uh, new highs, new gains. So, but, but you've got the inverse here. If you, if you like to buy washouts and, and, and look to buy, uh, or even, I mean, some guys will short stocks that are, that are making new lows. So, but I've got my top percentage gainers running as well as the new highs of the day, or you can as well have the new lows, or you could have all four of those in there. And then I've got my watch list for the day. So um, I've only got one ticker in here. Again, just kind of show you one of the handy symbols or handy methods is as you're locating stocks, you can quickly add them to this watch list just by typing the ticker. I can add Tesla, or I can go here, I can cut and paste and add multiples. So now I've, I've cut in and pasted several symbols so I can quickly add a watch list and create a watch list. You can have basically unlimited watch lists and scroll through them. So now let's move on to the total view screen. So um, AVXL was a stock I was trading yesterday, would have been for uh, April 8th. Um, you can see that uh, with the total view screen, I've got a chart with uh, with news overlaid on here, that, that's one of the great things that you can use, especially again if you're trying to locate momentum. I've got these, these each one of these bullets or flags corresponds to a news story down here. We've now got our basics. This is something I've wanted for years because quite frequently I'm trading low float stocks. We'll get into that later, but you can see the float here. You can see how many outstanding shares. You can see the market cap quickly all this information in one spot you've then got your level two box and then your times and sales now i'm recording this video outside of market hours if we were in market hours you'd see uh full level two you'd see time and sales going through so that is the basics of the total view screen um, we've also got of course our bid and ask our high and our lows and, and etc so 
but we're going to not get deep into these because I just want to show you the basic desktop. The other screen that I'm going to use is uh, I have a, a scanner running all the time and I'm just focusing on myself. Biggest percentage gainers, $10 and under. So I can go there and, and quickly bring those scans up and see in one spot everything that's happening based on the most volatile stocks. Now I will filter these in a later video. You can see I've got 1,100 results, but we'll move into that later. Um, you can then pop this out. It's great for, you know, I'm recording this on a single monitor screen just for the usability of a video training, but it's very multi-monitor setup. You can have your scans, you can have multiple charts, everything all over the place. Um, then the last one is, before we move on, would be the screener. And same thing, we're gonna, there, there's a, a ton of variables you can see that we can focus on here. We're all gonna do that later, but you can see that I can have this screener based on my criteria and I can pop that out as well. So I can have multiple, you know, basically limited by the horsepower of your machine and your screen space. You could have multiple screens running all simultaneously, immensely powerful package, all at all in one spot. And I really can't stress the importance of that. And that's that's what's got me so excited about stocks to trade is through the years, myself and pretty much every trader I know, you're running so you've got so many different software packages, so many websites that you're running, and it's just it it creates so much busy work and so much so many more variables and, and, and complexity to your workflow. And especially as a, a part-time trader like myself, I am looking for the things that I can do to maximize my efficiency. I do not want to sit here and have to jump all over the place and use all these different things and waste minutes, hours, all this time just to find out that there may be no plays. That, that's one of the most frustrating things about using all of these different packages. You may jump here, there, all over the place and find out that there's just no trades today. Or you may spend two hours to find the best two trades of the day, and now you've missed them. The beauty of Stocks to Trade is it's all in one spot, and it's very versatile, very versatile and very customizable to what you are looking to trade. So i um, looking forward to the following videos and I hope this was useful to you just to get a basic overview of the package. Thanks a lot.